Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a yummy and healthy vegan dessert for the summer. A pretty multi-layer almond agar jello with fresh fruit. Before we start, please remember to subscribe to my channel for recipe of other kinds of yummy food. Let's look at the ingredients. Full recipe is in description underneath the video. Agar is derived from algae which is commonly used to substitute for gelatin. Conja powder is derived from the elephant yam and is virtually zero calorie. Ground almond flour you can get from grocery stores. Chinese dried apricot kernel from Asian herbal store. Measure ground almond, Chinese apricot kernel and water and bring it to cook under low, medium low heat for 30 minutes. After cooking for 30 minutes, blend the almond paste into a smooth almond milk. Texture will be like this. My machine has cooking and blending function. You can also cook the almond milk at the stove then um, blend it in a blender. Pour the almond milk through a strainer to sieve the liquid out. Pour the almond pop back to the pot and add 200 grams of water and boil for 10 minutes again. Sieve the almond milk through a nut milk bag to remove any crumbs. Pour the cooked almond mixture into the nut milk bag. Squeeze out more almond milk from the pulp. Obtain about 1000 grams of almond milk. Scott the almond pulp. The pulp can be used for making cookies or body scrub. Mercia agar and conja powder. Both are available at Asian grocery stores or Amazon or health food stores. Add sugar and water. Boil to melt at medium low heat. Prepare the same thing for the almond agar except using almond milk instead of water. Bring both pots of liquid to boil. Stir to mix well. Leave them at the lowest heat so the liquid inside will not set. Pour half of the almond liquid into another pot and add matcha powder to mix well. Sieve the liquid through a strainer to ensure the matcha powder is fully melted. Matcha powder tends to thicken the liquid so we don't keep the pot at the stove. Instead, we place the container of matcha liquid in a hot water bath to ensure the liquid would not set. Prepare the fresh fruit cubes and slices. Prepare the multi-layer pudding now. Pour a thin layer of clear egg liquid in. Refrigerate for about 5 minutes to set. Then use a toothpick to scratch the top. This is to prevent the layers from detaching from each other when you flip the jello out. Place strawberry slices on. Pour a thin layer of clear agar liquid on. Refrigerate for about 5 to 10 minutes to set. Use a toothpick to scratch the top again. Pour the almond agar liquid to form a thin layer. Visually to set, use toothpick to scratch. Place kiwi slices on, then pour the clear agar liquid to cover. Visually to set, use toothpick to scratch top again. Pour a thin layer of matcha almond liquid. Refrigerate to set. Scratch top using a toothpick again. Place strawberry slices on. Clear agar liquid to cover. Refrigerate for 3 hours or more to set. Place 
a glass jar into another container at a slant position. Pour some clear agar liquid in and some fruit pieces. Refrigerate for 15 minutes to set. Voltage the glass jar to the other side and pour some almond agar liquid in. Refrigerate to set. Rotate the jar to another side and pour matcha agar liquid. Refrigerate to set. Rotate and slant the glass jar to the other side again, then pour some clear agar liquid in. Add fresh fruit pieces. Refrigerate for 3 hours or more to set. Remove from fridge and decorate with fresh fruit pieces. Instead of making multi-layer and colored agar jello, you may just make a single colored matcha agar or almond agar and top it with fresh fruit cubes and it's already very pretty and cute. Place jello on a place of warm water, then dip a spatula in a glass of warm water. Run the spatula through the edge of the jello, cover the jello with a plate, then flip it out. The yummy, pretty and healthy almond agar jello is now ready to serve. Enjoy!